Hi, welcome to the snag. Today I figured we'd cover the Wessex rig. It's a good rig, it gives you two presentations. You can still throw it out to about 70 yards or so, although it's not clipped down at all. And if you use it with a second rod, like I do, I normally have a pulley at range. And then uh, you've got three different presentations out there. So what you're gonna need is three swivels. These are rated to 80 pounds. They'll be good for the top of the rig and any two hook lengths that you're going to have. I've got another swivel with an American quick snap link on it. I tend to use these for my lead instead because you get the, the twist and the turn of the swivel which stops it tangling the rig up at all. Some people use the different variations of like Gemini gear. You've got your single clip, your double clip or the one on the runner. But like I say, I like the swivel because it stops your rig tangling, especially if you get something like an eel on there or whatever. It likes to spin all your rig around, it doesn't tangle up the lead or anything either. So you need two hooks. I'm using 3O Aberdeens in this case. You're going to need four beads, of which I'm using larger ones again, just so it's easier to see on film. And then, much debate around these, two crimps. I know lots of people don't like them, I'm not a big fan of them, but I use them on this rig normally. It's just quicker, easier, and I don't tend to use this rig for big fish. But this will more than suffice and if done correctly they're not a problem so what you're going to need is getting on with it I've got 80 pound rig body here I like to go a little bit over because uh, if you get any abrasion or anything else it can make the uh, rig a little bit weaker obviously so right 80 pound rig body just going to use basic fisherman's knots on this <clears throat> one of your swivels and it through, and then one, two, three, through the bottom loop, put it back through the loop you created at the top. Use my teeth in this case with a, another hand. Bit of lube, pull it down tight. So this line is quite stiff, but it knots well. I like it. Get rid of that. Okay, so that's the top of your rig, okay? After that, you're gonna to need to put on a crimp, followed by a bead. Oh, like that, we've got a runaway bead. Followed by a swivel. Another bead. And your second crimp. Get those into position. Everyone has them in different positions. I find as long as your hook length is shorter than the distance from the top of the rig to the swivel where it's attached, you're okay. I normally have a short one. I like it off the bottom a little bit or just touching the bottom. So I tend to have it that distance, maybe 15, 20 centimeters, something like that. Now I use, I don't bother using a crimping tool, I just use some long nose pliers. My crimps are long and then what I do is I get in the middle of the crimp and just crush that onto the line. More than suffices, that's not going anywhere, it doesn't move. And it flutes either end so it doesn't cut into the line, which is obviously one of the big arguments about crimps, how it cuts into the line. So again, on there, like so, just give it a good crush. Doesn't weaken the line so much there. Well, I've never had it cause an issue in all my years of fishing anyway. With that, need a bead on to protect the knot, or the crimp in this case. Yeah, slide in, swivel snap link for the lead. And then your second bead. And then obviously the bottom of the rig. Yeah, there are the swivel. So, one, two, three. Down through the bottom loop. Back through the top loop. Pull it tight. Pull that loop. And just cinch it all down. And it gives you a nice clear little knot there. Okay. Chop off your excess. And there you have it. OK, 
okay, your main rig body. So swivel, then you've got your two beads, there's a crimp either side, and your swivel in the middle, that's going to hold your paternoster side of things. And you've got a bead there to protect your knot when the weight slides up and down. You've got the snap link and the swivel coming down to another swivel. Okay, all right, for the next bit, don't worry about the curliness of it when you put the weight on and you have a taut line and everything else doesn't actually matter on this bit. So, for rig body, I'm just going to use 40 pound line. So, for the top one, paternoster, cut off that. So, first thing you're going to do is find your swivel. Same thing again, fisherman's knots, put it through your swivel. Okay. With it being 40 pound line, you can do a few more turns. Anything over 60 pound, you can tend to do three to four, and it's okay. One, two, three, four. But with lighter line, it's always better just to get another one or two in there just for the extra. Okay. Put it down tight. Bet and flip. Put it up, cinch it up. And there we go. Another nice tight knot. Okay. On the other end of that, going for your 3 0. Just put that through. And this I tend to make it quite short. So, one, two, three. Four, through the bottom loop, through the top loop, and put it tight. Okay, bit loop, cinch it down again. That's not going anywhere. Obviously, with 40 pound line, that's quite strong. Not going for anything toothy. I mean, this is a good rig to get schooly bass and. Might not. Both bass up to like six pound on these. Alright, so running ledger format that I tend to make this bit a bit longer, so I like at least three foot on the bottom. Just let it move away from the rig a bit, so it's a bit more natural. Okay. So quick recap before I do it. Right. There we go. Okay. So we've got the paternoster side of it, okay? Top of the rig, paternoster. The weight's gonna pull down like so. And that'll hold that swivel there. And then you run the edge of going out. Okay. So that's that on again. One, two, three, four. Through the bottom loop. Tag in back through the top loop. Put it down gently, give it a bit of lube. Just remember, always lube it up when you're pulling the knot tight because uh, mono can heat up when you pull it tight, which will weaken your line. 40 pound can become 15 pound very easily. Okay. If you want to put any sort of beads or sequins on, now is your time to do it, obviously, before you put this hook on. But in this case, that's Bristol Channel, so murky, doesn't really matter for where I'm going. One, two, three, four. Through the bottom. Throw it up. Put it gently tight. Move it. Pull it down. There you go. Okay, another good strong knot. And there we go, that is one Wessex rig made up. So, top of it, you can see. So, top of the rig, then you obviously, when it's sat there, you've got the paternoster side of things just sat on the bottom. Further on down, you've got your running ledger, and then three foot out, you've got your second hook, or second bait, or a second bait, you know, a different bait. Always good, you can mix and match. So, yeah, have fun, and we'll do another rig in a couple of days.